down to Stoke Gabriel for the day. I'm gonna go and check it out, see what it's all about. We've never been before, so let's hope it's a good one. So here is a slick way you can use to get your boat in. I think the water is quite high up here when, when the tide's in. Because of the storms, it must be really high because look at that, it's like a big blanket of seaweed and all other bits, driftwood and all sorts. Mental. Yeah. Then you got a pontoon. Tides out at the minute. I'm just checking out this bit of an area. So this little estuary leads out to the main river, which is the River Dart, and that'll take you all out to to Dartmouth and eventually to the sea. But it's amazing just to have a bit of an explore. All the boats just sat down here. It's nice. Normally, this obviously when the tides in, this is all underwater, so. Yeah, it's good. Having a bit of an explore. Maybe find some crabs. Who knows? How nice is that? It'll sit out your window, a bit of fishing. That's really smart, I like that. So you've got a good car park. Plenty of space, isn't it? It goes round. And it's five pounds for the day, which I think is really cheap for a day. Because if the weather's nice here, you could spend all day here. We brought the kayak, the dinghy, and the paddleboard. So we're going to get our wetsuits on, get out on the water, and enjoy ourselves. We've also got the river shack, which sells food, really nice food. You get drinks, teas, coffees, cold drinks and they do wood-fired pizzas which smell absolutely amazing my minions have I got a cup of tea? Is hello cheers looks like we found a good spot here some benches, it's like a little mini beach. It's a perfect place to get the kayak and the dinghy and the paddleboard out and hit the water. Just wish it was a bit sunnier, but. At least it's dry. Thanks for watching my video. Bye bye. <laughs>